Last night at 11, we met an unauthorized immigrant here in Northeast Ohio, a mother forced to wear a GPS ankle monitor or get deported. Well, tonight we wanted to know how often that's happening to immigrants here in the U.S. News 5's Derek Waller is live for us in Cleveland tonight. Derek, you learned this practice is part of a nationwide crackdown. Yeah, a federal immigration official confirms that they often use those GPS ankle monitors in lieu of detaining someone in jail. And I've learned it's a practice that has only grown under the Trump administration. I feel chain. Annabelle Sanchez can't go anywhere without this GPS monitor strapped to her ankle. How many? The mother of four American born children says she was brought here from Mexico as a child on the government's radar for years, but with no criminal record. They basically left her alone until now. If they put this on me to make me feel a criminal, they did a very good job because I do feel like a criminal. It's part of the alternative to detention program and an immigration and customs enforcement spokesman told me it allows ICE to manage individuals who may pose a flight risk, but for whom detention may not be the most appropriate option given their unique circumstances. Get the numbers. Get these folks and get them out. Cleveland immigration lawyer David Herman, who has no connection to Sanchez, says the use of ankle monitors started under the Obama administration, but is now escalating under Trump. Trump's new executive orders um, pretty much obliterate what Obama had done, which is to set in place um, some priorities for who we should go after. What about people who say the law is the law and these people are breaking the law? That's certainly true, um, but the, the penalty should be commensurate with the infraction. Again, it's a civil infraction. Sanchez, who says she applied for a green card years ago but got no response, is now fighting to keep her family together in the U.S., not Mexico. I love my country, too but I don't see a future for them. They don't even speak Spanish. And some of you may be wondering why she's not eligible for deferred action or DACA. That's the Obama era program that basically granted immunity to children who were brought to this country illegally. Well, that's because the program cuts off at 15 years old. Sanchez was brought here at age 16. Live in Cleveland, I'm Derek Waller, News 5.